series Java Tutorial for Beginners. I hope you've all enjoyed the previous video and all of you are set up with your systems. If you have not seen the first video, I would recommend you please go back and watch it once. Set up your system if it is not already ready with Eclipse and JDK and then move on with this video. So in this video, we are going to write our first Java program. Nothing fancy about it, nothing too dangerous. Very simple program with just two, three lines of code to help you understand the very basic structure that a Java program follows. So last we saw our Eclipse was all set up. This is how it looked like. Now one, two things that I want you to do before we jump ahead into our session on writing the first program. Just go to Windows and click Preferences. This is where you set up everything, well, most of the things that you need to set up related to your editor. Please make sure that the editor you use is very much friendly to you. It will save you a lot of time while writing your programs and make your life much, much easier. So this is where how you go to Preferences. And if you click on Java, you will see all the details related to Java. The appearance, the build path, code style, compiler, debug, everything. Now, go to the build path. Click on it. You will see the build paths here. Go to the compiler. Click on it. You will see all the details related to the compiler here. Similarly, when you click on editor, you will see all details related to editor. Nothing very fancy, but just take a look once, soak in whatever you can to see how your preferences of your editor look like. Now, when you click on installed JREs, here is where you should be able to see the exact path that we saw in the last video where our JDK was installed. So, C, Program Files, Java and JRE folder exact path this is what we are going to be using so this should be check marked before you progress further into writing your program once you check this also check if your perspective is set to java since eclipse is most often used for java but that is not the only language it is used for so just go to general so general will be the first thing up top when you open preferences click general and here you go to perspectives. All right. Now in this, click on Java and you can go ahead and make it as default. So now your default perspective is set to Java. Click OK and we are all ready. Now the very first thing to do is create your Java project. So just right click anywhere in this package explorer. You'll see new at the top and click Java project. Give your project name here. Let's say beginner Java. Okay. Default location will be inside your workspace location. If you don't want it to be inside your workspace, you can just check this off and browse to whatever location you want to set it. But I'll go ahead and use the default location. So inside the workspace folder, now you'll see the beginner Java folder. Your project is inside your workspace now. Simply go ahead, click next. You'll see a source package inside this and finish. So this is your beginner Java project, which has some JRE system libraries, which you don't have to worry about right now. And there's this folder called source folder. Now inside this folder, we are going to create our first Java program. So just say new and class. Either you can take default package, but let me just show you how to create the package as well. Let's say Java tutorial. And here is where you give your class name. So I'll say first program. All right, that is your class name. Now, if this is your main class, 
which we'll get to later. Just click on the first thing here, public static void main. So by default, it will add a main to your class and it will show you on the screen. You won't have to type the code yourself. That is one of the many advantages of using an IDE. So you just click here, public static void main. If you want to generate comments, you can click here, generate comments. If you don't want, you can click it off. Let's say we just keep it on. I'll go ahead and explain to you how a comment looks like and finish. So this just created your first program. Now it's not going to do anything because you have not written any logic inside yet, but your structure is all ready. So you see inside the source folder of the project, you have Java tutorial package. Inside the package, you have your first program, first program.java. So in the package explorer, you will see your whole hierarchy, which workspace, which package, which folder, everything. You see the whole hierarchy. If there are more than one functions, right now there is only one function, main, which is created by default. If there's more than one function, those functions will also show up here. So it is very easy to navigate from here to if there are multiple lines of code, your navigation becomes easy. Now, before we jump ahead into the program, I would like to quickly show you how you can increase the font size. So this font size, as you can see, could be very straining on the eye sometimes. So I like to enlarge it a bit for the ease of read. Go back to window again, preferences. This is where most of, as I said, your editor things lie. In general, when you go to appearance, you will find colors and fonts. Now in this, you can go to Java, pick whatever you like. And let me take this Java editor text font. Then go to edit default. Once you go to edit default, you can increase the font size. Let's say we do it 16. Okay apply and okay now you see your first program here the basic structure that is done by your editor so starting off with a few comments that we don't need right now so i'm deleting that off your first line is the package line which package your code belongs to so our package is java tutorial it's a very simple package that is the keyword followed by the name of the package and every line in your Java code is supposed to end with a semicolon. Until and unless there is no semicolon, the line is not ending. Now you write it in multiple lines or you write it in one single line. The compiler will only understand that the line has ended once it comes across a semicolon. Now further, you can give who the author is. We really don't need this, so I'm striking that off again. This is the first line of your class, public class and the name of the class. Now, these are again the keywords, part of the structure. And inside these braces is where your whole class code lies. So first program, go ahead inside. And what you see is public static void main string args. Now each of the keyword that is mentioned here has some relevance and some meaning that helps execute your Java program. Now first off, let me mention a few things. There always, always has to be a main in your program because main is the first function that the Java program runs and also it is the starting point of a Java program. The compiler enters into main and then figures out what more it has to do. Also, public here means that your particular class is accessible to all other classes. Now there are other key types as well which a class can be but for now we'll stick to public which means your class is accessible out of the package as well. Now main is your method name. So a main method is always, always has to be there in your program. String args, just don't worry about it. We'll explain to you later. But for now, let's just say that it is an array of string objects. So this method takes an array of string objects. I'll explain it to you later in the coming videos when we deal more about it. 
Now inside this class is where we are actually going to write our code. So let's say for starters, we just print a line and see how it comes. So let me delete this. Now as you have seen, your comments are the part of the program that are not executed. So if there is a multiple line comment, it would look something like this. But if it is a single line comment, like this line, auto generated method stub, there will be two backslash. So this is a single line comment. So let's get rid of this comment and actually write some code inside our function. All right. Now, before you go ahead and run this, you just save your file, shortcut control S. Also, you can go ahead and file and just click on the save. Once your file is saved, all you have to do is go to run and click on it. Once you do that, at the very bottom, you will see your output. Now, if the screen, the output that comes on your screen doesn't pop up at the bottom, is at the right, you can very well go ahead and move this view anywhere around you want. So, I can just click on it and dock it here. So, now it is coming at the very right hand side. But I personally like it at the bottom because then there is no difficulty in seeing what your program code is. So, just click on it again and move it to the bottom. So you can click on it again and move it to the bottom. All right. So you see you got your output. Hi, this is our first Java program ready for some fun. You get the output in the console. Now you can go ahead and play around with this code. So you can remove a brace here and see what happens. So just save your program again and you will see that your program won't compile. When you run it, errors exist in the required project. Proceed with the launch. Now, even if after this you proceed, you will get your error. Error in the thread this and you will get the line number as well where the error is 9. So you get to figure out that here somewhere the error is and then you can see that your brace is missing here. Also, if you say you don't write your main, like I said, you write something else. So a main now, the program is logically correct, but to run a Java program has to have a main function, which is no more there. Now you save it again and run. So you see main method not found in class, this, this. Please define the main method as public static void main string rs. So the compiler will actually throw you a very clear error saying the main of your program is missing and please go ahead and define it before you run your program. So like this, this Eclipse editor will come very handy when finding your errors and also when writing your program. So like you saw, your method structure, program structure was already done just by a click. You didn't have to type anything practically, just the two lines. All right. In our upcoming videos, we are going to take a look at Java in much more details. Also, we'll make the editor more friendly to us so that we save a lot of time in programming. Again, if you have any doubts, guys, please drop the comments below and we'll make sure to take your queries in our upcoming videos. Stay tuned for more fun and happy coding.